Hello everyone. <clears throat> I went to do a little video working on a little bit more on um, Pythagoras theorem. I know I had uploaded another an, another earlier video, but this one is just to better off our understanding on how to solve for a missing side whenever we're given other two sides right so here we go uh, let's say that in a problem you have a diagram like this now notice that my diagram is not going to be um, drawn to scale right so you have something like that in this case if i leave it like that you will not be able to determine or you will not be able to know which one is the 90 degrees because it is not drawn to scale so first thing that we need to do is identify if it is a 90 degrees or if it is a right angle triangle <coughs> right so we need a 90 degrees triangle that's one so how do we know if it's a 90 degrees triangle one or the most common one is going to be that little square on one of the corners of the triangle once you can identify that then we know that we're working with a 90 degrees triangle <clears throat> now we want to use Pythagoras in order for us to use Pythagoras it says that Pythagoras two sides are given right two sides are given you're solving for the last side right so that's very important notice that in this case we have a 90 degrees now how do we know if it is going to be Pythagoras two sides are going to be given so in this case, let me give you two sides. Let's say this one is 15 degree, um, 15 cm. <clears throat> and this side here above is going to be 10 cm. That is what we have. So in this case, I'm going to insert X here. X tells you which side you're solving or you're trying to find. In this case, we have it is going to be that side there. So, two sides given? Yes. Solving for the last side? Yes. Is it a 90 degrees? Yes. So that means we can use Pythagoras. Hence, we continue by writing our formula. Our formula is C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. If you remember from the previous video we know that the hypotenuse or c which is the hypotenuse i'll just put hyp hypotenuse is always opposite to the 90 degrees now this is what we need to identify first the hypotenuse so we have this is our hypotenuse right now <clears throat> the other two are called legs so we have leg one i'll put it as leg one and leg two right leg one a leg two b equals to leg plus leg squared 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 let's proceed by writing what is the hypotenuse what is leg one and what is leg two? Notice that the hypotenuse is first. The hypotenuse is 15. So that means we're going to proceed by saying, all right, the hypotenuse is 15 squared equals to leg one is x. So we're going to insert x squared here. And then we have leg Two, which is 10 
plus 10 squared. Notice that what we did is just replace hypotenuse was 15, replace the 15 under the hypotenuse. You cannot put it here for A, you cannot put it here for B or the legs, right? Leg 1 was X, so we put X for to be leg 1. 10 is leg 2, so we put 10 to be leg 2. The next thing that we need to do is find what is 15 times 15 because we know anything that is squared is going to be the same thing the same number so in this case 15 times 15 and then this one is going to be 10 times 10 right we are all clear with what we have so if we find out what is 15 times 15 you use your calculator or you know it by your, or you know it by memory or you can do the long division we know that this one is going to be 225 equals to x squared plus right so bring down the plus and then 10 times 10 is 100. Now in Pythagoras, once you reach to this point, the numbers will either end up at the same side or it will end up like this, one on the, the left side of the equal sign and then the other one on the right side of the equal sign. What we need to do next, if they are in the opposite side of the equal sign, we just need to transfer or tran transpose, not transfer, the correct word is transpose, transpose the 10 to this side. Now how do we transpose 10 to the other to the other side? We say minus 10 here, the minus 10 will remove it from this side. Now if I remove the 100 from this side, I must remove 100 from the other side. And then this is what we have, right? So we have 100 minus 100 gives us zero. And then 225 minus 100 gives us 125 equals 2. And then you notice that the x is by itself there. Now, what is the next thing that we need to do? Notice that from the problem, we're solving for what is x. We don't want what is x squared. Now, in mathematics, we know that if we have a square to get rid of the square, we will square root on this side and we will square root on that side. The squared and the square root will cancel off from this side, right? The square and the square root will cancel off from this side. Now, if we square root the other side, which is 125, and you could do this with your calculator, then you find the square root of it, the answer should be something around 11.18, and I leave it as two decimal place, equals to x, right? And this is what we have. So that means, that if I want to work out this triangle, you can notice that this side is going to be 10, this one is going to be 5, and then this one up here is going to be 11.18 cm. And that is what we have. Let's do another one. Um, the other one, let's quickly do it. Let's say that if you have this triangle here, let's do it a little bit different. Let's go this way. Let's add in 7 cm here and then let's add in 6 cm here. So we want to use Pythagoras. How do I know if it is Pythagoras? One, it is a 90 degrees triangle. Two, Given two sides, solving 
for the last side right so here are the two things you need to ask yourself so am i is it a 90 degrees yes how do i know it's indicated right here it has the little square there which means 90 degrees am i given the other two sides yes that's going to be seven and six and i'm solving for the last side in this case let me just place r right r is going to indicate that i'm solving for that side so formula c squared equals to a squared plus b squared which one is the hypotenuse 90 degrees opposite to it hypotenuse so that's going to be r squared equals to legs i'll put this as leg one leg two right now that the other two are always the legs so leg one leg two which one is one doesn't matter this could have been one and then this could have been two right so leg one a is leg one so leg one is going to be six so i'll put six squared here plus leg two is going to be seven so i'll put seven squared here now notice hypotenuse is r so i put r for the hypotenuse i do not put any number it doesn't necessarily have to be like the first one where you had the hypotenuse to be 15 and you place 15 here it doesn't have to be like that right so we go back to this one here and then what we have is that it is going to be um, r squared we can solve that one right at this time what is 6 squared 6 squared is going to be 6 times 6 right 6 times 6 is 36 right 7 squared 7 times 7 7 times 7 is 49 r squared in this case notice again they end up on the same side of equal sign so that means it is only 36 plus 49 and you get your answer here in the in the previous case you had that one ended up on the left and the other one ended up on the right that means that we had to transpose this one to the other side and how we do it it doesn't matter doesn't matter if the hundred was here you will always minus that amount right and then that is what we have here so let's go back to this one so we have r squared equals to what is 36 plus 49 36 plus 49 that's going to be 40 50 60 70 85 85 now we have um to get rid of this square so we square root here and we square root here r equals to and then this two goes off right because they are they are squared and then square root and squared cancels off but square root of 85 gives us 9.22 now if you take a look at your calculator your calculator will have 9.2195 because this one was bigger than 5 I added 1 to this which is 9.22 right so that is what we have 9.22 and then let me add in my units that cm hence that is what we have I hope you guys um, make use of the videos. Um, it is going to assist you a lot when you're doing your work. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave it on the video or you can send me an email.